What is up, PTU crew? This is Pika Papa with Pokemon TV Unlimited. This is a Market Monday, and I'm from my car because um, I was gonna do it in the normal little studio bedroom, spare bedroom of my house, but um, I had a little problem with one of my orders. I ordered a box from a store that I normally don't order from, and there's some kind of little mix-up. Um, I think it partly is FedEx. I really don't care for FedEx. Um, I've had problems with them in the past and I don't get deliveries from them that often, but it seems like every time I do, there's some kind of problem. Um, but besides that, we are gonna talk about a few subjects. We're gonna go over the market in general on a few topics real quick. First off, we're gonna talk about Crown Zenith. There is an extreme shortage of Crown Zenith. Um, I kind of wish I would have done a market video over the weekend. Um, the store that I really like to use often and I order from a lot is Smoke and Mirrors. If you haven't used them before, I've seen, they've been very reliable, ordered from them um, dozens of times. Um, they have great prices. If you read like their little description, they, um, they pride themselves on having low prices. They even say that, you know, they're not trying to get super rich. They're just trying to make a nice little margin, stay in business. They are, um, <coughs> excuse me, they, um, are that idea of the quick nickel rather than the slow dime. Um, I just got that from um, Cardinal Gaming. I like that term, it makes a lot of sense. Uh, so they sell products at a reasonable price and and I've seen them do this before. Like they have their pre-releases, they, they have stuff, it'll sell out and I think they hold some stuff back. And then they recently did have Crown Zenith up they had cases for four fifty plus shipping, or no, free shipping. Anything over hundred dollars with them is free shipping. They had cases for four hundred fifty dollars. Uh, that was a few days ago. I checked today to see if I could throw that out to you guys, and they're already sold out. So um, that's a bu <coughs> that's a bummer. The only thing they have is they have the Pikachu boxes, case of six for one hundred forty dollars. With after tax, you're looking at. Again, it didn't meet the $150, so you'd have to add a little more, some other little items. Um, but basically, after tax, you're looking at $25 and a few cents, $25.50 a box. Um, I am more than likely going to do a giveaway of the Pikachu box. For some reason, all the other Crown Zenith products are sold out. For some reason, I don't know if they printed a lot of the Pikachu boxes or what. Um, but I've heard other people say that it's not as popular of an item. I mean, that promo in there is fire. I'm Pika Papa. I have to give out the Pikachu box. Kind of goes hand in hand. I love that promo. I love the jumbo. I love the original promo, which was a promo in Japan. You had to get this special magazine to get the Japanese one. Um, I think it's still out there. It, it's pretty affordable. I think it's like $20. You get the magazine, you get the promo inside there. So I would check it out and look for that if you're interested in Japanese cards. Um, okay, let's talk about Crown Zenith reprints. Um, because of the scheduling of Crown Zenith, how they've um, scheduled it out over the last few uh, few months, I cannot see them not also reprint the ETBs um, and make those available. Um, we have seen this kind of thing from a specialty set before. We've seen it with Champion's Path and we've seen it with Shining Fates. If anyone was around during the Shining Fates time, there was a period where Shining Fates was hard to get and it made the ETBs uh, skyrocket up. I see a similar thing happening with this. In the short term, you're gonna see high ETB prices, 60, 65 and above, depending how long this is going on. I would not panic. I would just wait. If you haven't been able to get your hands on some Crown Zenith ETBs, I would just say wait. Um, in fact, we might do a giveaway of a Crown Zenith ETB on this channel, but I'm not promising that. I am promising the Pikachu VMAX box. Uh, we will be giving away one of those. I might do a, a ETB at that same time. The problem with the ETBs, although being obviously a little more of an expensive item, I have European uh, subscribers and shipping to Europe is expensive. It costs me like $30 to ship that thing. So I'm looking at, you know, like $75, $80 all in to, to make one of those a gift. Um, I'm not saying I won't do it. I want, you know, to be that channel that gives back. Um, I really appreciate all my subscribers. I appreciate you guys listening to me um, and, and just, you know, following the channel. I really do appreciate it. Um, back to the subject matter. I would just be patient. Um, I believe reprints are coming. 
Um, I believe reprints are coming that I've talked about, although people are going crazy online because there's not any information out. Um, oh, there's a lot of speculation going on. There's some speculation that they're not going to be reprinting the sets we talked about. Um, Evolving Skies, Brilliant Stars, Fusion Strike. Um, I just don't think, I don't see a Chilling Rain reprint happening. I definitely don't see a Battle Styles reprint happening. I can see an Astral re, uh, Radiance reprint happening, even though they're still widely available, um, just because of the playability of the, some of the cards in the set. Um, I could definitely see Brilliant Stars being reprinted, even though they have it on Pokemon Center for, for the retail price. I don't know why people are spending anything over retail for brilliant stars right now i mean it is a great set and it will get to that price and be legitimately at that price but right now if you're buying on tcg player or ebay and spending anything over msrp i don't know why you're doing that you can just buy from the pokemon center other people have said that i I'm, i i don't think anyone from this channel is really doing that so i don't think that's a problem for us and the ptu crew um how do i say this clearly I don't see any reason why Pokemon's not coming. When everybody, when they were pre, when they were printing all these boxes, these different collections boxes, people were complaining. Oh man, there's a new box coming out of a week, and now that nothing's coming out, people are complaining. There's no nothing coming out. Um, they're not just sitting at Pokemon twiddling their little thumbs right now. Reprints are coming. I see a lot of booster boxes coming. Um, I don't see any reason why they wouldn't be coming. Um, one of my one of the, and I believe I mentioned this before, but if not, I will mention it again. Why would they make arrangements saying, hey, we're going to stick to the original M or the original wholesale price of these pre of these sword and shield sets going into Scarlet and Violet if they weren't planning on printing these sets? They wouldn't have said anything. If they were planning on cutting off the prints of these older sets, these sword and shield sets, why would they need to tell people that the, it's going to be at the old MSRP price? Or I mean, the the whole the old wholesale price. It's going to the, that they're not going to up that price with the price jump of Scarlet and Violet. Obviously, that doesn't make logical sense. Why would they do that if they weren't planning on reprinting these sets? Plus, they're not going to leave money on the table. They may be smaller reprints. They may not impact the uh, the market price too much, but they're going to be out there. So if you're waiting for those reprints, they are still probably coming. However, if they don't come, I'm actually fairly good. I've had I have about 50 total, maybe even a little more than that, booster boxes of obviously varying sets. I have I think I still have around 10 or 11, maybe even 12 Evolving Skies booster boxes. Um, remember that video a couple months ago? I said now is the time to buy Evolving Skies. Um, even if they do a reprint, I don't see it going. You're still going to probably spend one. 60 170 180 um which is still not a bad price because in the future and in a not too distant future five six seven years you're looking at a thousand dollar box personally i think um that is just my opinion i think the time to buy sets like chilling rain battle styles fusion strike it now is the time i i can't see why they wouldn't do some more reprints of lost origin or silver tempest but right now is not a bad time to buy. We've already discussed on this channel. To try to time the bottom is silly. You're wasting your time and you could be missing out on an opportunity. In the end, when these booster boxes are worth several hundred dollars, when you're looking at a 2X or 3X situation, when they're three to $400 down the line, is it gonna really matter if you paid 115 or 125 for the box? Come on, guys. Let's not, let's, let's, let, let's not worry about, let's not lose out on dollars worrying about nickels if that makes any sense. Um, so I believe the time is to buy is now, even if they do a reprint, just buy a couple more. $20 is gonna make or break you. Uh, this is Pika Papa. Please remember to like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. We do investing videos every Monday and uh, sometimes during the week and we do openings. We are gonna be doing an opening this week of an older, a little bit older box, not super old, like recent old, one that people are not doing because I did not have a chance to open this box. It's gonna be fun for me. Hopefully it's fun for you guys. Thank you for watching and please remember, you gotta catch them all. Bye.